is Joshua Peterson of Peterson Electric. This is March 2018. Um, I got another video for you on arc fault breakers. Um, we had a simple call on Friday of an issue. It always happens after hours. We just told them to hold on until Monday, so we came out on Monday. Thank God we did because it took a couple hours to get through this call. Um, a lot of you watch my videos and subscribe to us. I have a lot of videos on arc faults, and I have found a lot of different issues. This by far has gotten me. Um, I've had this complaint in the past with these vacuum cleaners <clears throat> that you turn on and then you crank down and then this engages the second part of the motor uh, for it to actually turn for the bristles and it, it can actually have a neck about, I think it's about 180 degrees, it can turn back and forth for you guys to vacuum. Uh, this vacuum typically runs about 10 amps, it can go up to almost 20 amps that we caught it. So the original complaint when we came in was this outlet was causing an issue going on in this area. As you can see in the nook area here, this circuit should have been right here, a, a dedicated 20 amp circuit for that as a nook, but they did attach that to the lighting on this circuit right here. So <clears throat> what we found, um, for one thing, is that we cleaned out the, the motor, or I should say the vacuum, but as we cleaned out the vacuum and took all this apart, we found a lot of dust in the bottom of it. Let me see if I can do that for you real quick. So when we took these out and cleaned them, they were just full of dust. And that does affect the way the vacuum runs. So the dustier, um, the more amperage it can draw that I have experienced on my meter. So we cleaned that out, came back up here, put it on that same outlet and that circuit, not a problem. So but we took this vacuum and she said the complaint was that she plugged in over here. So if she hadn't done that on Friday, I would have never known about another issue. So we plugged it in here and automatically it started tripping. So I went out to my van and grabbed a 1500 watt hair dryer, plugged that in, and no tripping. Grabbed my vacuum out there, my shop vac, plugged it in, not a single trip. Um, so these two outlets right here are the only thing on this circuit, believe it or not, a 20 amp dedicated nook circuit. They didn't even tap the appliances. That right there told me that there's not a lot going on on that circuit. So I took out the plugs, traced through them, no issue at all. I did find some loose connections when they twisted on the neutral on this one. This is the end of the circuit, so I figured that might be it. Plugged it back in, it tripped. I went over there because this circuit, and I grabbed that breaker off the panel, and I put it on this circuit over here with this wire. I robbed Peter to pay Paul, and there was no issue. We took this vacuum, went over to that breaker where the 20 amp was in the living room, and it tripped. So it told me there was something maybe going on with the breaker. So then we got through with all that. We tested with another arc fault that was down in the basement, and we did not have it trip as per se on that circuit when the vacuum was on it, but we did have the breaker trip with the vacuum again. So I started thinking there wasn't a breaker issue. Then I got over here and I got into this outlet, and I started to see that possibly it could be something inside of the outlet. So I changed the plug, and it still tripped. I didn't want to just start changing parts, but then when I got into the panel and started looking at the wire, I did see that the electrician got kind of heavy on cutting in on those conductors and the hot was had a nick. So I taped that and I still had a trip. So I finally resulted and got to the fact that we had a BR Cutler Hammer Breaker, uh, the green uh, test reset with the black handle, and I re replaced that one and now the issue has gone away. But keep in mind, there's a lot of things that can happen on those arc faults more than just changing a breaker or a plug. You're looking for various reasons. We did test the, the resistance on that uh, between the neutral and the ground going to the panel with the breaker off and the hot conductor ungrounded taken off. And I did see on a 20 amp breaker that I had 8 ohms of resistance between the neutral and ground. On a 15 amp, I had 6.7 on the living, but then the basement circuit, which is barely used because it's unfinished, was 3.6. So as I grabbed my new breaker, I tested that, and the newer breaker was closer to 3.6 as well. So I'm assuming as a breaker starts to age, maybe there's a little bit less tolerance inside of those breakers for issues. But keep in mind, there are different parts of this circuit that, are, that can affect it as far as what kind of loads that are plugged into, which is a non-fixed item, such as a vacuum cleaner. 
Um, that is just a motor load. And then our, um, we tried a toaster, which is an element load, and that had 1,200 watts. And then we did our hair dryer at 1,875 watts at 14 amps on that load. So it was kind of interesting. It was really just more the vacuum to this breaker issue, and we changed out that breaker. But the breaker is also seven years old. My thoughts since the codes have come out in 2002, it might have been the second generation. So maybe in seven years, this circuit got used a lot. But this place was rented quite a bit, the gal said, when she bought it. So kind of hard to believe that people were crockpotting this circuit a whole lot in here because there's only two items on that circuit. Anyways, guys, hopefully uh, this will help you out. Sorry the video is a little long, and... Um, let me know if you have any questions. Bye.